as the world is struggling with the coronavirus crisis, many shooting ranges are closed. This is a best moment to do dry firing, chrome practice or for example shotgun reloading practice. Whatever you do, remember to do it safely. So let's remove the firing pin first. Even though I don't put live ammo in the chamber when I do the dry firing practice, I still want to remove the firing pin just in case. And this is the famous oops moment, so be careful that also the firing pin is not soon in your eye. Here we go, now it is safe. Now the gun is safe, no firing pin, chamber empty, safety on. When I start to practice, I need to practice like a piano player, with some very difficult part. They have to practice slow motion to get the muscle memory correct. So what I want to do is do everything slow motion, the movements correct, and Try to avoid all extra movements, for example here. It's important when I push the gun up right after the past ammunition is in the tube. It's very short and brief movement for fast target acquisition. Because when we are reloading, the shotgun, we always have to practice taking the reloading position and after reloading the last ammunition, going back to the shooting position. It is better to practice loading twos and fours. Loading eight or twelve ammunition in a row standing still is not very important in competition. Important in competition is to be able to reload the gun on the move. So adding a small movement for the practice is a very good idea. And trying to keep eye contact so that you, uh, after some practice, can reload the gun without looking at the loading port. The last tip for reloading practice is the correct grabbing of the ammunition. Keep your hand a bit on the higher part of the belt and right thumb on the ammunition pair which goes into the tube first.